your local weather authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Well, rain overnight could be affecting some low areas this morning. Just be careful if you're accustomed to the areas where there could be some ponding on roadways. You might deal with that in the early morning hours. But I also want to let folks know area rivers are going to be impacted by this recent round of rain. The White River, the Wabash River, the Little Wabash River over in Illinois. We've got flood warnings out for our area rivers. And if you need additional information about rivers, you can always visit weather.gov. Gov. There you'll find all the information you need for flood stages for any rivers really in the country, but more importantly in Indiana and Illinois, you can also check on that flood stage information. So here at our studio, we've had about three quarters of an inch in the overnight hour. Some folks have picked up more than an inch of rain and it's still raining right now. That area of low pressure has yet to track through and until it does, we'll keep those rain chances with us. This is a live look right now with our Dorset Automotive Doppler radar and clearly we've got a wet morning out there. Almost everyone in the Wabash Valley right now seeing rain coming down and there are some heavier pockets in many locations here. So where you see some of that yellow and orange shading, that's more moderate rain showers currently coming down this morning. Now some of the heaviest rain has fallen in the overnight and what will happen today now is some of the heavier rains are starting to press out of the area. So additional rainfall totals probably are going to see maybe a quarter to a half inch across the heart of the area. Some of those heavier amounts now pressing further off to the east this morning. So we're going to track that rain right now as we begin the day today. You're going to need an umbrella as you head out the door this morning. We'll get a little break in the action, but in the backside of this low pressure, I don't think we're completely done with those rain chances as we'll see some more scattered areas of rain later this evening and tonight and even into the start of the day tomorrow. Once again, we're not going to completely take rain chances out of the forecast until later Friday and into the weekend. Once that low pressure is far enough away from us, we'll dry things out. We'll see some sunshine and we'll also start to warm back up once again. The winds are going to pick up speed. As I mentioned going uh, into the break, we are going to see those winds kind of start to pick up speed. So it'll be a little breezy out there through the course of the day today into the afternoon, into the overnight and right on into the day tomorrow. I think we'll see these winds, and again, these are sustained winds of around 20 to 25 miles per hour. Gusts could be higher than 30 miles per hour, but those winds will start to lighten as we get into the upcoming weekend. Now, temperatures this morning are in the 50s. That's pretty much where they're going to stay all day. We're not going to warm up today. So temperatures where they are this morning is where they'll be. We'll cool in the overnight, though, and tomorrow morning we're going to start in the 40s. So tomorrow you may need a rain jacket as you start the day, but it might want to have a lining in it because it's going to be a little chilly out there early tomorrow. By Friday evening, we should get to seasonable readings around 60 degrees. So after this cool down comes to end the week, here's the story. Warm air is going to be spreading across our region right in, on through the middle of next week we anticipate temperatures to be summer like as for today we are talking about temperatures staying in the 50s where we are now is pretty much where we'll be for most of the day Winds will be noticeable, especially this afternoon and later tonight. Rains will be lighter as we go through the day, although there could be a few brief downpours with a few areas of rain later this afternoon. Now tonight, showers will still linger in some areas. Tomorrow morning will be about 10 degrees cooler than where we are now. A cool Friday, yes, but that's a seasonable at 62 reading. Warm for the weekend. Look at those temperatures through the middle of next week. It's going to feel like summer with maybe some showers and storms by Tuesday. Thanks so much, Julie.